what are interior angles, exterior angles, alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles, and all of these terms, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here is part of our Angles Series Revamp. Last time, we talked about the complementary and supplementary angles. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it down in the i button. But in this video, we talked about the most complicated na stuff. The vertical angles, interior angles, ano yung alternate exterior angles, and alin sa kanila ang congruent or pareho ng measurement. Okay? But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is by buying our merch. You can visit our website, the shop.teamlaika.com to find yung mga dinesign ko ng mga shirts, hoodies, mugs, and other giftable items for you to check out and again all the proceeds there go to our hope fund which helps support this channel and our scholars and yung iba po nating mga projects so sa mga nakabili ng merch maraming salamat sa inyo at sa mga bibili pa lang maraming salamat din you are helping us help more people through our cause and now that we have that out of the way i'm going to switch over to my pc so i can explain this better to you i'll see you in a bit Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about yung congruent angles and um, kung ano yung mga angles sa situations na magkakapareho yung measurement. Again, uh, this is part of yung series natin on angles. Last time, we talked about yung supplementary at complementary angles, which is something na lagi na malabas sa exam. So if you haven't seen that video yet, again, nakalink naman siya dito sa taas, so you can catch up. Pero ngayon, Iba na kasi we are going to talk about more pairs. Okay? So, medyo uh, technical, medyo uh, marami tayong pag-uusapan. Pero I know you can really uh, figure this out. Uh, Isa-isahin naman natin sila. Okay? Now, let's start with the most simple na, na angle pairs na pareho ng, um, ng measurement, which is yung vertical angles. May example din tayo nito doon sa first uh, video uh, where we talked about su supplementary and complementary angles. And um, there is an angle there, di ba, na yung given kasi natin was, um, I think it was 42 degrees. Tapos yung katapat niya, yung across sa kanya sa kabilang side, pareho rin ang measurement. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Here you have two lines, okay? Tapos nag-intersect yung dalawang lines na yan. Okay? Now, the moment na nag-intersect yung dalawang lines, nakaka-form siya ng apat na angles. Okay? Now, meron siyang intersection dito sa gitna, tapos meron kang angle A, B, C, or D. And again, yung mga letters na yan, or minsan numbers, nagpa pwede namang ano yan, uh, iba yung tawag sa kanila. Sa ibang exams, nagsistart yan sa number 5 agad, or nagsistart sa letter F agad, or minsan random yung pagkakasulat ng mga letters. No? Pero ang importante is yung pwesto. Ibig sabihin nun, again, kung ganito ang itsura niya, ang angle A, tsaka angle C, are vertical angles. Yung angle B din, tsaka angle D, are also vertical angles. Ano yon If you notice, sila ay magkatapat. Hindi magkatabi. Ang magkatabi, ang tawag din sa kanila, adjacent angles, no? Pero magkatapat sila. Okay? Now, kapag magkatapat sila, ang vertical angles kasi are also congruent angles. Ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng measurement. So, kung ang angle A daw is 60 degrees, ano ngayon ang angle C? Now, if you notice, again, yung angle C is a vertical angle doon sa angle A, which means pareho sila dapat ng measurement, kaya angle C is also 60 degrees. So, ang answer natin ay 60 degrees ito. Okay, now, using yung alam natin doon sa video before, sabi natin, di ba, kapag straight yung line like that, Tapos, ito ay 60 degrees. Para makuha natin yung B, okay, angle B, ima-minus lang natin yung 60 sa 180 degrees. Okay? So, ito ay 120 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, ang angle B is 120 degrees. Na kung hinahanap ko naman ang angle D, again, dahil ang B at D ay vertical angles din sila, kung ito ay 120, ibig sabihin 120 degrees din ito. 
Okay? Now, if you notice again, recalling back, and uh, dito napapasok yung proving, no? Um, if nasa proving part kayo ng geometry, hindi naman yun yung goal natin this, uh, in this video, no? Pero, the idea is, again, kasi, supplementary pa rin yung C and D, so 120 and 60, supplementary din ito, 120 and 60, supplementary ito, 60 and 120, and ito rin, supplementary, 120 and 60. So, again, tama tayo doon. So, ibig sabihin, ang vertical angles are equal. Okay? Again, ang vertical, ibig sabihin, nasa kabilang side. Okay? And pareho sa sila or shared yung kanilang intersection. Now, paano naman kung ganito yung itsura? Okay? Now, if it's stated na yung dalawang lines ay parallel, kasi yung ibig sabihin nito eh, na ang line A at ang line B ay parallel. Na ano ba ibig sabihin ng parallel? Okay? Ang ibig sabihin ng parallel is that hindi sila magtatak magtatagpo kailanman. Kahit i-extend mo ito ng tuloy-tuloy, walang point na sila ay magtatagpo. Kasi parehong-pareho sila na tuwid. Okay? So again, same yung distance all throughout doon sa pagitan ng dalawang guhit na yon. Now, kapag sinabi na sa problem that A and B are parallel, tapos sila ay nahahati naman ng isang transversal, ito yun lang yung technical term dito sa line C naman natin, and this is just one line, ibig sabihin nun, nagpo-form din siya ng mga iba-ibang klase na angle pairs. Okay? Now, we're going to start with one of the basics na um, kailangan natin maintindihan na terms, which is yung interior angles. Now, ano ba ibig sabihin interior angles? Sa ganitong sitwasyon, ang interior angles are yung angles na nasa loob. Again, kasi the word interior starts with yung prefix natin na in. Ibig sabihin ng in sa loob or inside. So, nasaan ngayon yung mga interior angles dyan? Ito yung mga yon. Okay? So, ang interior angles natin, kung inilista natin sila, sila ay si angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. Now, for some of you, lalo na yung mga students who are in here for their modules, yung ibang quizzes natin or uh, si trick natin, hinihingi lang kung ano yung mga interior angles. You can list them down like that. Okay? So, again, interior kasi, nasa loob sila. Okay? Nasa loob sila, nung dalawang parallel na lines. Okay? Interior. Now, kung yan ang interior angles, ano naman ang exterior angles? Now, napag-usapan na rin natin before, ang exterior angles, di ba? Ang X is a prefix. Ang ibig sabihin naman ng X, it can actually mean outside. Kaya yung mga X, dapat outside, hindi na inside, no? Okay? So, ang exterior angles, kung ang interior natin ay nasa loob sila nung dalawang lines, okay? Yung exterior naman ay nasa labas. So, alin yan dyan sa mga yan? Ito sila, okay? So, ang exterior angles natin are angles 1, angles 1, 2, 7, and 8. Okay? Kasi again, nasa labas sila, exterior, nung dalawang parallel lines. Okay? Now, bakit importante to know kung ano ang interior at exterior? Kasi, mayroon pang mga additional na pairs ng angles na congruent dito sa sitwasyon na to. Again, pag congruent, ang ibig sabihin lang natin dito, sa case na ito, is that they have the same measurement or pareho sila ng number of degrees. Okay? So, Kung yung isa ay 32, 32 din siya. Kung isa ay 48, 48 din siya. Okay. Now, alin dito sa mga to ang congruent? Let's start with yung vertical angles. Kung ang ating challenge ay hanapin kung alin sa mga angle pairs na ito ang pareho ng measurement, let's start off with yung mga vertical angles natin. Again, napag-usapan natin kanina. Kung itong sitwasyon na to right here, if you notice, again, they share itong vertex nila. Okay. Yung intersection na ito. Ibig sabihin nun, yung angle, siwala natin sa angle 1 tsaka angle 4. Okay, dahil vertical sila, sila ay equal. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Okay? Ano pa? Dahil vertical din yung 2 at saka 3, ibig sabihin nun, equal din yung angle 2 sa angle 3. Okay? Tapos, dito naman sa kabila, Okay, again, same condition, no? So, dalawang lines na magka-intersect. Meron intersection dito, na shared vertex nilang lahat. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung tawiran, pare-pareho rin sila. Ang 5 at 8, at 
Ang 7 at 6 naman din ay congruent. So, kung isusulat natin, para lang mas visual, yung 5, angle 5, is equal to angle 8. Tapos yung angle 6 naman, equal naman siya sa angle 7. Okay, yung 1 and 4, pareho. Yung 2 and 3, pareho. 5 and 8, pareho. 6 and 7, pareho sila. Yan lang yung dun sa in terms ng vertical angles. Okay? Now, paano naman dun sa tinatawag natin na alternate interior angles? Now, ano muna ba yung alternate interior angles? Now, napag-usapan natin kanina yung term na interior. Pag sinabi ng interior, nasa loob. So, ito yon, Dito yung pagpipilian natin. Now, ano naman ibig sabihin ng alternate? Ang alternate, ibig sabihin kung ito yung transversal, sila ay magkabila na side ng transversal na yon. Okay? So, again, hindi sila pwede na magkatabi, hindi katulad ng 4 at 6, no? Kasi itong 4 at 6, pareho silang interior, pero hindi sila alternate. So, ibig sabihin, ang pares nito, no, in alternate interior angles, ay yung 3 at 6 at yung 4 at 5. Okay? So, ang angle 3 ay equal sa angle 6 at yung angle 4 ay equal sa angle 5. Okay? Pero hindi pwede na yung angle 3 at saka 4 or yung angle 5 at saka 6. Okay? So again, kapag alternate interior angles, interior nasa loob, alternate, magkabilang side, nung transversal, equal sila. Okay? 3 and 6, 4 and 5. Now, uh, another trick here para malaman kung alin yung mga angles is you can draw a letter Z. Okay? So, kung sundan natin to, draw niya ako ng Z. Diba? If you notice, again, yung 3 at 6 along the uh, corners, diba? sila yung isang interior angle. Kung kabilang Z naman, okay, pag ganyan, sila naman yung nasa naka-alternate, yung 4 at 5. Okay? So again, just something to think about. Pagdating dun sa visualization, kasi yun ang, yun ang goal natin eh. Now, pag, tapos natin mapag-usapin yung alternate interior angles, Meron pang ibang mga pares na pareho ng measurement. Yung alternate exterior angles naman. Now again, ang exterior angles natin, napag-usapan na natin, are 1, 2, 7, and 8. But again, alternate. Ibig sabihin nun, kung kukunin ko yung 1, ang kapareho niya ng sukat ay hindi yung kapareho niya ng side dun sa transversal natin. Hindi yung 7 ang kapareho niya. Ang kapareho niya ay yung nasa kabilang side or alternate. So, ibig sabihin, ang kapareho ng 1 ay 8. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 8. And, doon naman sa kabilang pares, pwede natin tinan yung angle 2. At ang kapares niya naman, again, external, nasa labas, pero nasa kabilang side, C, angle 7. Okay? So, again, if you're looking at alternate and exterior angles, angle 1 is equal to angle 8, and angle 2 is equal to angle 7. So, again, nasa labas sila. Again, if I draw another Z, no? Tapos I'm looking for the exterior. Itong dalawang angle na nasa labas ang magkapareho. Kung dito ko naman siya is Z, ganun din. Siya, tsaka siya. Okay? Yun yung alternate exterior angles. And, again, as long as parallel tong dalawang line na to, nahahati ng isang transversal, ganun yung measurement ng angles na yun. May mga pares na magkakapareho ng measurement. Paano naman kung corresponding angles? Ano naman ang corresponding angles dyan? Now, ang corresponding angles would be yung angles na nasa same side na, okay? Tapos, same position din doon sa pinaka-vertex nating na dalawa. Okay? Sa intersection nating dalawa. Now, let me show you ha, kasi medyo tunog complicated siya. Pero pag nakita ninyo, madaling madali na siyang spot. Ano ibig sabihin? Kung kukunin ko yung angle 1, for example, ano ang kapares niya? Now, if you notice, merong dalawang parallel line na hati na isang transversal. Nandito siya sa upper left corner. Okay? Ito, nasa upper left corner naman niya is angle 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle 1 at yung angle 5 ay equal sila. Okay? So, again, kung nasang bahagi siya dun sa dalawang intersection. Now, ibig sabihin, kung kukunin ko naman yung angle 2, sino naman ang kapareho niya? Again, dito sa side na to, yung angle 6. So, ibig sabihin, yung angles, angles 2 and 6 equal din sila. Kung kukunin ko yung 3, okay, pwede kong kunin yung 7 kasi yun yung nasa lower left side. 
So, ang angle 3 equal naman siya sa angle 7. At yung natitira na natin, yung 4, again, lower right naman siya, at 8, equal naman din sila. So, angle 4, tsaka angle 8 are equal. Okay? Now, why do we need to know this? Kasi if you know kung nasan yung mga question nila, mas madali din mong mahahanap kung ano yung value nila kapag nasa problem na sila na may mga find the missing, missing angle. Okay? Now, how do we solve that? Again, knowing everything you know about kung sino yung magkapareho ang measurement at yung napag-usapan natin before about supplementary and complementary angles, I challenge you to find kung ano yung measurement ng iba-ibang mga angles na ito. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, may given naman tayo, no? Ang given sabi, yung lines na A and B are parallel and yung angle 1 is 28 degrees. So, nasan yung angle 1? Ito siya, sa upper right. Ito daw ay equal sa 28 degrees. Okay. Now, if you notice, may mga na nawawala ditong mga letters, no? Ng angles. Hahanapin natin sila isa-isa. Now, kung titinan natin yung angle 1... At angle B, they are vertical angles. Okay? So, ulitin ko yun ha. Yung angle 1 and angle B are vertical angles. Okay? At dahil vertical angles sila, ibig sabihin, kung 28 degrees ito, diba, yung kabilang side niya, katapat niya, dapat 28 degrees din. So, alam na natin na yung angle B is 28 degrees. Now, dahil alam natin na 28 itong B, di ba? Nakikita natin yung D is yung kanyang alternate interior angle. Okay? Yung B, tsaka yung D, pareho sila dapat ng sukat. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle D is also 28 degrees. Okay? So, sulat na natin sa letter D, 28 degrees. Now, there's another way to solve it, which is if you look at yung angle 1 tsaka angle D, they are also corresponding angles, no? Kaya 28 yun, 28 din dapat yun. Tama naman tayo dyan. Now, kung 28 ito, again, vertical naman yung angle D tsaka angle C. So, ibig sabihin, 28 din itong C. Okay? Now, dito na tayo sa A. Ano naman kaya yan? Now, again, straight line ito, which means yung angle A ay pwede kong kunin doon sa 180 degrees kasi supplementary sila nung angle C minus lako lang yung 28 degrees which will give us 152 degrees. So, ang angle A is 152 degrees. 
Yung angle C again, sagot na natin kanina, 28 degrees. Now, ano naman yung letter E? Now, if you notice again, kung ito yung A, di ba? Yung angle A natin is an external angle. Nasa labas siya. Now, yung, kapalit, yung kabalik talan niya or alternate exterior angle niya, okay, kung titignan natin yung Z, okay, here, yung alternate niya is yung E, angle E, which is also supplementary to angle 1. So, ibig sabihin yung angle E is also 152 degrees. So, ito ay 152 degrees. Alright? So, yan yung sagot natin. Ang angle A is 152. Angle B, angle C, and angle D na makikita natin. Pare-pareho silang 28. And yung angle E is 152 degrees. So, again, if you know yung mga rules na ito, mas madali mong hanap yung mga missing angles, lalo na sa mga exams. Okay? Now, this is a little bit easy. May mga mas challenging tayong questions in... Uh, the earlier videos sa series na ito. If you haven't seen them, yung how to find the missing angle in shapes and yung mga shapes na na-form ng mga different na lines, I'll link those here in the in the i button here if you're watching this on YouTube or sa description box din if you're watching this on on YouTube or sa comments sa Facebook. Again, napag-usapan na natin yun before. Maganda if you challenge yourself using those questions, okay? And if you want more practice, you can always follow me sa Instagram account natin. You can follow me at Laika Maravilla for the new quick quizzes. We use the Instagram story function for uh, more new na mga challenge questions that I post and mga papol din sa mga susunod topics na gusto niyong pag-usapan natin. And uh, you can also follow the Team Laika account on Instagram. It's at Team Laika for the throwback questions and other updates sa mga iba pang mga ganap natin sa Team Laika. Tapos, if you're also on TikTok, you can find me and my videos there at Team Laika for the educational content, math and English videos, and at Laika Maravilla for the, for the more personal videos, yung mga advice videos, motivational videos, and uh, a bit of a peek into what goes on behind the scenes. Okay? So, see you guys online. Alright, hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and you exam din sila. That thing is marami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Marami pa mga videos coming up. So, if you don't want to miss any of those, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell para malaman ninyo kapag ready na yung mga susunod pang mga videos sa channel na ito. And as we always say sa family natin dito, never stop learning. Adja-adja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.